How does an open heart surgery work? Is it really as crazy as it sounds? Well, not really. Let's break it down into three easy steps. Step one. Get on the table. The patient is put under general anesthesia and a big cut is made in their chest, splitting the breastbone in half. This allows the surgeon to open up the patient's chest cavity and have a look around. Step 2. Find the problem. Once inside, they'll find the heart and see what's wrong with it. Is there a blockage in one of the coronary arteries? Maybe the heart valves are damaged or the heart muscle itself has been weakened by a previous heart attack. Whatever the problem is, the surgeon will need to fix it. And to do that, They'll need to stop the heart. So they'll use a special solution to lower the patient's body temperature, which slows the heart down until it eventually stops. Then they LL. Gently take the heart out of the chest cavity to have a closer look at it. This is the only part of the surgery where the heart is actually outside of the body. The rest of the time, it's either in the body or in a warm water bath nearby. This keeps the heart from drying out and allows the surgeons to work on it for as long as they need to. Step 3. Do the surgery. Now that the heart is out of the body, the team can work on repairing the damage. If there's a blockage in one of the arteries, they'll open it up and install a stent to keep it from closing again. If the valves are damaged, they'll replace them with new ones. And if the heart muscle has been weakened by a heart attack, they'll sew a patch over the damaged area to help the heart pump more efficiently. Once they're done, They'll put the heart back into the patient's chest, close up the chest cavity, and rewarm the patient's body to bring them back to normal temperature. And voila, open heart surgery successfully completed. Now, of course, this is just a very simplified version of what actually goes on during an open heart surgery. There are lots of other steps involved, like the use of a heart-lung machine to keep the blood circulating while the heart is stopped. But you get the idea? Open heart surgeries are major operations that should only be performed by highly skilled surgeons. But as long as they're in good hands, they can be life-saving procedures that give patients a second chance at a healthy life. So do you know anyone who's had an open heart surgery? How did they recover? Share your thoughts below! And remember to stay tuned for more medical mysteries solved. Thanks for watching!